tool I might want to use is to change the color of things. So for reasons I can't really imagine, I want to have two pink Labrador puppies here rather than two golden ones. So, and I've got two versions of the image here so I can actually see the before and after and I'm clicking on the second one, that's the one I'm going to change. I click on image and I go to adjust and replace a color. It's going to change, take one color and replace it with a different one. First thing I need to do is define where on the picture I want to make my color change. So I'm just going to click and draw a drag across the puppy's forehead. So it's those range of colors around the other ones I want to change. I click on show selection and move the tolerance to the middle. It comes up like that. And I'm going to see it so that the tolerance is how much of the color it's going to change. And I'm going to drag the hue. So I'm going to say the colors defined around here, I want you to shift on the spectrum where they are. So I'm going to drag it right the way down here and see what happens. Although it's a little bit too purple, I'm going to drag it back a bit. And that looks quite pink. Of course, I can do other colors. I could, for instance, make my puppies green or just leave them back as golden retrievers. I wanted to make them sort of a pinky color. Now notice it does change other colors in the picture as well because you do have to be careful about that. The tolerance will change exactly how much it changes as well. So I'm sort of playing with these. So the, the background has been less changed, but that also means the puppies tend to be less changed as well. So it's sort of, it's playing with it until you get sort of thinking, I think, well, that's around about what I'm after. So I can take the tolerance down further. But I, I sort of think I can live with that and I'm happy that those are now quite pink enough for what I'm after. I click OK. And I click between the original. And you see that if you look closely, you see it's not just the puppies that have changed colour. Okay, the background has changed colour as well. Now that would be an advanced tool if I were to demonstrate that. So look, I've taken, there's my original image. There's my replacement image. I've now got two pink Labrador puppies.